What's going on, y'all? What's up? So, uh... It's cold as shit. It's cold. And the only thing keeping me warm is this chocolate. So this is going to be the start of our, our webisodes. Yeah. And we're just going to talk about some stuff. And they're going to go on a special YouTube channel. But this is for y'all. First topic. N*** with no ambition. Yo, I hate with no ambitions. How are you content doing nothing? Right. Like, like no, like literally doing nothing. You don't even have a job, but you're content. You're fucking happy. You're not looking for a job because I got a degree and I'm just good with that. You're not even in a tax bracket. There are bums richer than you right now. Let's say you do get a job and you're at Wendy's for four years. You're still not assistant manager. How are you content? How the fuck are you content I'm going home? on a minimum wage, matter of fact, no, I'm not going to call it minimum wage, I'm going to say, it was once minimum wage, you've been there for four years, so it bumped up 50 cents, so now you're 50 cents above minimum wage, and these high school kids coming in making the same exact <laughs> you making, because inflation is a bitch, where are you going in life, and then I'm talking to you, you f***ing wale and me, and what's your motivation, like, listen, this is what I'm trying to do with my life, hey, this is where I want to be, income wise, family wise, lifestyle wise, everything, residential wise and I'm like yeah so what you trying to do you like well I mean I'm just trying to move out of my mom's crib you know what I mean topic hoes that want to be wives <laughs> all right hoes that want to be wives right this is the thing I'm not mad at you you know cuz it's like what else can you want to be like at this point you probably don't even know you a hoe you probably watching this video like him, what do he know about being a hoe? He don't know nothing about being a girl, and you're absolutely right. I don't know shit about being a girl. So y'all tell me. One of y'all give me give me a good reason why you should be a hoe. I'll wait. Exactly. So this is my thing. Hoes, right? It's okay that you want to be wife. Like you should want to be wife. And being that you're a hoe at a point, you're probably looking for like something to hold on to. Every girl has this, the innate desire to want to be wife. But this is my thing, though. Don't lie to us. Because that's what it is. It's not even necessarily that you're a whole all the time. I mean, me, I don't want to whole personally. But somebody else might be okay with that. Another thing, everybody knows what goes on. You ain't low. You got to realize that. Like, you think that because you told a like, listen, I'm going to just do this for you, but I don't do this all the time, but don't tell nobody. And then he say, all right, baby, I'm not going to tell nobody. You really think that nobody knows? Like, that probably already told his Just like you probably already told your bitch. And you know that that you told that I'm talking I'm talking about that bitch tell everything to that bitch you told her already and he told his version of that bitch who went and told lay friends who told lay friends and now everybody know it's a trap so your whoredom is gonna be spread you could have been a hoe and you want to be wifed and I don't blame you but just be truthful like to yourself and to, to whoever you talking to don't don't lie to me and, and lie to yourself too just tell the truth man just I used to be a little fast like, I used to just throw that around like frisbees. But now I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get on a straight and narrow, you know? Even though my walls ain't like that. Above all, it's always a trap. That think that they too fly or too special for you to next them. I guess, uh, you can start with, uh, no too fly to get next. Not by me. I mean... Maybe by certain people, like, the thing about it is, like, when it gets to the point where you feel like, I need you, now you in, now you in foul play territory. If you really feel like you're that fly, and you really feel like I'm not that that's fly with you, then maybe you should step off. But, I'm gonna tell you this now, you're not gonna find another that is a starter like me. Most is bench players, right? What a bench player means is that 
They come in when it's less than two minutes in the fourth, and you're already up by like 30. So basically, that would be you're already winning, and maybe you just want a little f***ing company. But me, I'm a starter. You start me, and you need me from the beginning to the end. But I sit down when I get tired. Cocky All right. I appreciate confidence. Like, I really, truly do. I seriously believe that if you are confident in yourself, that you'll go far. You'll be able to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue because you are confident in yourself. And when you're confident in yourself, other people are confident in you. That's just the way life works. However, pay attention to this. There is a very, very minuscule, fine line between confidence and conceit. And when you cross that line, is this giant penis <laughs> protrudes and then sprouts from your forehead. And then the more you talk about yourself, the more it's just like you're this. And it's only a matter of time before you b on everybody. <laughs> and nobody likes a head. That's all I'm saying. I don't understand. How you can love yourself to the point where you feel like there's absolutely no one in this world with better qualities than you. There's always going to be somebody better. Now, I'm not saying that there's going to be someone that looks better than you. If you feel like you're the best looking dude out there, you know what? Kudos to you. However, just because you think you look good doesn't mean I think you look good. So let's please not sit here and talk about how good you look and how lucky I would be to be with you. This is what it is, right? If you are so cute and you're absolutely perfect, ask yourself, if you had a twin, a twin brother, would you f*** him? <laughs> and that's it. At the end of every Back to the Topic, we're going to find a random tweet by a random person. And if we like it, your topic is going to be our last topic. This is actually a good one. Like, this is not even going to be ignorant. We're about to legitimately voice our opinions, all right? So, I have, uh, I have, um, I don't follow this person, but she's been retweeted onto my timeline. And she said, uh, she said, I think I fell in love with the idea of possibly falling in love. And that's where I went wrong. Sometimes I expect too much. And she also had another one right before that that says, or more often than not, I expect people to give 100% just like I always do. And when they don't, my feelings get hurt. The idea of wanting to be in love is probably not, probably not a wrong thing. I think it's something that's been over-glorified by movies and TV shows. Because all that pretty shit, all that the notebook shit, that's not how life is. It ain't like that. That's not, that's not real love. Right? When everything's all pretty and shit, that's not love. Love is when you're dealing with somebody and for some reason you just can't f***ing kill them. No matter how much you want to. Like you want to stab the or the girl through the forehead and you just can't for some reason. That's probably what love is. That's about the closest thing yeah, I can. Yeah, nah, love is pretty bad. That's love about is, the closest definition. Love is when you fight so much, or not even so much, but you get into such a horrible fight that you really want to throw them off the nearest bridge. Or out the nearest window. Down the staircase. But you don't. And then the next day, as pissed off as you are. Tight. As hurt as you are. It really doesn't even matter. Like, you'll still be willing to talk it out. It's uh, Mela Ace. That is, uh,